Okay, I thought we'd have a look at doing something just a little bit different this week. We're going to be using Pro Show Gold 3 to create a little bit of a montage and hopefully as well it'll just sort out uh, some of the questions I get asked about transition times and everything. Right, to start off, let's come and have a look at slide number one. Clicking on it, you'll notice it is now highlighted. We're going to right click and choose Insert Blank Slide. Clicking on this will pop in a black slide, that's the default. Let's add our first slide, we're going to click, drag and drop this one in. We're also going to select this one as well. This one we're actually going to be using for our background for the entire montage. We're going to drop that in. Let's have a look. Three seconds. This is the on-screen time. Three seconds here is the transition time, A, B being the transition uh, sort of effect we're using. This is too high. I just want this to be sort of like a blend into the first slide rather than being bang straight in. This is just going to give us a very soft intro. So we're going to click on this. You can put in whatever figure you want. So if you press 1, for example, it's now become 1 second. We're going to take this down to half a second. So at 0 0.5. 3 seconds, pretty good. This would normally be your sort of title slide. The figure there would probably be in reality sort of 5 to 7 seconds. For this show though, I just want this to be a blend in. We're not going to be adding titles to this, so I'm just going to take this down to one second, but that is just for this sort of demo only. And uh, probably about two seconds there, to just to blend it in, because what's going to happen? No, it's not. I'm going to leave that set on three. Just had a thought. I'll explain as I'm doing it. Bringing in our next slide into form part of our montage, I've selected this one, you notice the grey line around it, pressing down, holding down control, because we're still holding down control on the keyboard, we've got that plus symbol there, if you didn't hold, hold down control it would drop it in there, but in it pops, you can take your finger off the control key as well now by the way, double clicking, let's just take a look at the layer, there it is there, layer 1, layer 2 there's our background layer, we're going to come to motion, and what we're going to do is come to zoom and we're going to use the zoom slider and we're going to zoom this out to round about that area there. Coming inside, and this is why I've not taken, I want to take it down a lot smaller, but if you take it down smaller, you're in danger of clicking on these grab handles, which will start to rotate it and reduce it and do all sorts of weird things. So I'm going to click in now with my little fist, dragging it down, just popping it just off the screen there and taking it down a wee bit further to that area there looks pretty good just off screen this is our finished position here and again we're going to click on this reduce this down in size and I want to finish it round about that area there 45 is still a bit big let's just have a look probably around for 30 I'm just going to put in 30 because I'm going to try and keep this the same figure for the next slide as well right let's see how this looks uh, I'm going to click done the reason I pop this back to three seconds is because it's going to come through and I just want it to blend. See the way that's coming in there? That's the transition time coming through a bit fast, <laughs> to say the least. Let's just click in there and put in six seconds. Right, let's try that again. Through it comes. One other thing, it's looking just a little bit flat on the screen there. By flat I mean sort of, you know, it's just blending with the background. So let's just double click. We're going to come to editing and we're going to come to drop shadow. There's the default color black, which is absolutely fine by me. We're going to click on outline. Don't particularly want black, so we're going to choose set color, and we're just going to pop this right up there into the whites and click set color to that. Click in done. There you are. You'll notice it's now standing out nicely. If we click play, now it sort of stands out from the background. It's got that little bit of a 3D look to it. And it's going to fade out there. To stop that, let's double click. We double clicked on slide number three and we're going to come to motion and we're going to choose copy all to next. Pop, in it goes. Done. Right. Needs a job done now. I thought I better not say that enough. Click in play. Through it comes. Oh, look at that. We got that dreaded sort of blending look to it. So this is probably one of the things that's uh, you know, uh, most or get asked the most is how do I stop that sort of blurry look? Right, all we're going to do is take the transition time to zero. We're also going to take this to zero. This is what I would call my stopper slide, because now when it comes through, it just goes into position. Job done. Right, I said I wouldn't say that word, didn't I? Right, double clicking. I lied. Copy all to next. Clicking done. What this will do now if we play it, I'm just using the 
sort of slider here to take me back is now when we play it through it's going to go into position it jumped across there and we're ready to introduce our next slide into slide number five right let's have a look what we can we put in we can put in uh, oh I know a lighthouse pressing down control again got that plus symbol in it pops double clicking we're on the motion tab we're going to reduce this down in size again to something manageable perhaps around about that area there just coming in you see how easy it is just to grab on those move this to the bottom there perhaps and take this down further there coming to our end position I know I want this to be at 30 so we're just going to highlight it because I want to keep it the same size as the other one so just using that so we know it's the same size and our finish position about that point there will do absolutely splendidly coming to editing again drop shadow that is pretty good like that matching up we're going to choose set color we're going to move this into position there so we got all the whites and click in set color click in done and if we just play it from this position here it's going to come across we pretty fast <laughs> okay right let's stop it there we're going to put in six seconds on that and double click in we're going to come to the motion tab to put that stopper slide in again so we're going to use copy all to next through it goes we're going to actually go to the next slide by clicking there it's now telling me we're on slide six of six and this one don't forget it's a stopper slide so I'm just going to put in zero seconds and zero seconds there so we've adjusted this to zero seconds all around right double clicking and again copy all to next this is going to be for our next slide and you can see we've only really done what two transitions yet it's taken us four slides because of inserting that stopper slide right on this slide here we're going to put in what we're going to put in we're going to put in something I'm, I know something in the portrait mode that will do nicely pressing down and holding down control again releasing it in it pops double click it let's come straight off to editing and we're going to click on drop shadow now be in the before and after you'll notice as I click here you'll see the drop shadow coming in and this also illustrates all of this is totally non-destructive if you don't like it and tick the box back it goes to what it was brilliant click on outline again we're going to come and we're going to pop this into the whites and we're going to click set color you'll notice you can't really see it standing out there but there it is there you can see it's on the white there and down to motion right we're going to move this across to that area there and I'm going to click copy to end which will pop it over moving the zoom slider now down right the way into the dim and distant murky backgrounds of our background layer there in the water and we're going to drop this down in size I want it to be roughly the same sort of size as those two slides in our background you just click on it and perhaps move it up a wee bit perhaps just reduce it down in size just a little bit more that looks pretty good there and we know now that we need to put in that stopper slide just to finish off on so clicking copy all to next in it goes clicking done um, this is going to be extremely fast without zooming through yeah that's just way too fast there and we're going to get that blur oh look at that a nice zoomy look into there so let's just have a look we're going to put in I think eight seconds would be more suitable and zero seconds on this stopper slide and perhaps just a second there to finish off before fading into the distance let's have a look uh, I'm going to take it back to the beginning you can even right mouse click and choose play from there it's coming through there that's just a bit of a brief intro that's where you probably have your titles let's have a look it's coming up a bit fast still <laughs> just a bit fast there um, I'm going to let it go through but there's in our next slide that's a bit fast as well so I want to change the timing of slide 3 and slide 5 make a mental note of that we'll come back and do that this is coming through imagine this to nice music instead of me waffling on been an awful lot better through that comes there and you see that nice 3d look and then finishing off on that slide there it is let's just come and change what did I say 3 pressing down control I'm holding down control 5 we're going to take that to 8 as soon as I click off you'll notice that slide 5 has changed to 8 as well 
I'm not going to go through the whole sequence again, but to just play it there, and you notice that slow down there nicely. That's much better there. Just making the difference with the transition uh, with the on-screen time there. This is coming through. That's nice and soft there as well. You can take this even further. You can take it to 10, 12 seconds, whatever you like. Just to use it for your style of images and the music you're using with it. That's really what you need to be governed by is the music. Again, that should probably should be about in about 10 seconds just to make it just a little bit slower and softer. There you are, give it a try. I uh, did something very, very similar on the Pro Show Gold uh, DVD I've done. Check that out as well, but give it a try on your slideshows. I hope you've enjoyed this. As I say, it's been a little bit different, but until the next time, happy, you know, happy imaging even, <laughs> and take care.